Hi, welcome back to TYT Sports. Diego joining me once again. Diego, my man, how are you doing? Very good, Jason, and yourself? I'm good. It's good to see you. As we were just talking beforehand, it's Friday night. Uh, where Woo! Diego's at, he's about to get ready to, to go and party. But before that, he has to obviously hang out with TYT Sports for a minute uh, to talk about Always a pleasure. some of the biggest transfer news of the last few hours, because at this rate, it happens every minute. Um, yeah. Romelu Lukaku has agreed to sign, but it's nothing official, I don't think, but it seems like he's going to be the new frontman for Manchester United. There's a video of him and Paul Pogba training, which you can throw in in post-production, that sent Everton fans AWOL. What is it for? Not surprised whatsoever, particularly given the fact that uh, United was weighing both options, either buying Morata or Lukaku, and seeing as uh, uh, Lukaku, I should say, and seeing as he was cheaper than Morata, younger than Morata, is used to the Premier League, no. and has a better goal scoring ratio yes. than Morata. I know that here in Spain right now, all the reports are going around that Morata is in a slump. He's devastated by the news because he was very keen on a move to United. Morata obviously looking for an exit from Real Madrid by any means necessary. He wants more playing time. However, if you're United, it only made sense to go for the Lukaku option in this case. And uh, well, I think they, they you know, you got to give them credit. They did a good deal here. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I'm going to defer to you for the most part when it comes to these because I'm not exactly sure how uh, United's going to structure around it, but it seems like they needed uh, that force up front, especially with Zlatan out of the equation yeah. now. It's and just look, Zlatan came in and was exciting by all means, and he got the job done for the most part. I mean, Manchester United did. is playing in the Champions League next year, in part mm. because of him and before, I mean, well, before the injury too. Um, but now you're starting to talk about somebody, at least in Lukaku's case, as you mentioned, it's the safe option, to say the mm. least. And I don't want to say that it would have been a gamble on Morata, but like just like you said, he knows how to play in the Premier League. And Manchester United has retooled pretty well going into uh, next season. And he's not the only uh, one now that is, I think, going to still try to make their way over to the Premier League. Does Morata still now maybe try to call up a Manchester City or a Chelsea or a Tottenham and other teams that might be of interest? Or was the United the place you wanted to be? Well, look, the reports here were saying that Mourinho and Morata were on the phone with each other every single day. <laughs> uh, Mourinho is known to schmooze players and you know is quick to call, get them on the phone and talk to them about the big project. So whether these reports are true or not, uh, you know, who am I to say? Um, having said that, you know, where does this leave Morata? Well, it leaves him, in my opinion, only with Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, of course. The fact that Diego Costa is highly likely, uh, well, linked with a move at least to Atletico or China, uh, Conte is in need of a striker. So, you know, the question right now is, is Conte or Chelsea willing to pay the 90 million uh, euro fee that Real Madrid is asking for Morata? In my opinion, overpriced, but at least that is what they're asking for yeah, at the moment. I mean, we saw a lot, it's a similar trend, especially with the Premier League, or if you go to China, well, they'll just pay any amount of money for you pretty yeah. much. <laughs> but like last year with Pogba, there was two straight months of all the transfer rumors and the news, and then he eventually signed for a whole boatload of money. Uh, and that boatload is a little bit smaller than the yacht load that uh, your friend over there, Lionel Messi, just signed or is rumored <laughs> to have signed, which I'm sure made you very happy as well. Uh, after did. what he had, what I would think was a good weekend, a wedding, and then coming back to making, what, 566,000 American dollars roughly per week. I think we chose the wrong life, Diego. 
<laughs> <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. Uh, look, yeah, obviously I was delighted with the news. I kept telling everybody that was throwing criticism at me saying, Messi's not going to resign. You'll see how he's going to leave. And I kept saying to them, it's a wedding present. Just wait until <laughs> after the wedding <laughs> and then he will sign. It's a wedding present from Barca to Messi. You'll see how it'll be done. And, you know, there you have it. Uh, he's uh, renewed his contract. And, um, you know, of course, we're happy, but hey, Barca has got so much more work to do that, you know, I hope that the board of directors are not sitting now, you know, leaning back in their chairs because chop, chop, a lot of work still to do for Barca, of course. I agree with that. And uh, I would actually encourage people to go check out your video that you uh, sent us in not too long ago. Uh, It's a great, it covers a lot of Barcelona, which is wonderful because sometimes we make Diego talk about Real Madrid and he does it, he bites his tongue and he does it very objectively and fairly. And I give him a lot of credit because it's like the meanest thing we could ever make Diego do. Um, But hey, you do a good job with it. And also, so check out the video. We'll make sure to put the link in the uh, description box below because Barca does need to make some changes and they do need to, to, as you just put it, they got some work to be done. They got uh, some work to do. By the way, I just wanted to add to this. I heard uh, you and Francis talk about Ronaldo's buyout clause. Because listen, guys, that is still a conversation today, whether or not he will be there in August. And you guys were right. It seems ridiculous, but Ronaldo's buyout clause is indeed 1 billion euros, <laughs> not dollars, euros. So I know it sounds like Dr. Evil, you know, <laughs> putting right. this buyout clause, but it is, you know, 1 billion euros in this case. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, we'll I'll, see what happens I'll spend my spare billion euros I have just in a different <laughs> account and I'll go buy Ronaldo. Uh, don't worry. Yep. It's not, it's not going to set me back too much. Uh, Diego, as always, yeah. thank you for joining me. Uh, make sure to follow Diego. Everything is linked in the description box below. He's also going to be sending in an awesome NBA international video, not NBA international, a basketball international video, uh, which should be really interesting. And I'm actually very excited because I think the audience is going to uh, flock to that because we have a lot of basketball fans coming in from tons of different places. Uh, nice. And, uh, Diego, I'm sure it'll be great. Thank you. Always good to see you, man. And we'll uh, talk to you soon.